Howdy folks, John here from rchelicopterfund.com. Just doing a quick little soldering project tonight to cover a topic that's coming up uh, ever since I did the M1 heli review, and that is regarding building a charge harness for it. Now I know these guys are coming with a little basic charge harness now, so that's good, but still getting questions on it, and specifically parallel charging harnesses for the little 2S packs. The thing that makes these packs somewhat unique same with the T-Rex 150X. They only have a three pin GSTXH balance plug on them. So the plug serves dual purpose. You're balancing and charging through the plug. Whereas a conventional LiPo battery that most people are familiar with, you know, you've got your separate balance plug. In this case, a 2S pack. So it's got a three pin GSTXH balance plug. This plugs into your charger's balance port. The charger will put a load individually on each cell to keep them in balance while it's sending power through the main power plug to charge the pack. And then of course when it's inside your aircraft, you don't even use the uh, balance plug. Uh, you're just sending power to the aircraft through the main power plug. I'm going to be showing you two types. Uh, the first one will be a really easy one if you've already got a JST-XH paraboard. And we're going to be use, utilizing the paraboards uh, balance plugs to both balance and charge just by making a simple little harness for it. And then the second one is going to be more involved. We're actually going to make a proper parallel charge harness. Now before getting to any of that, I thought I'd go over the basics of how these little cells are hooked together so you understand kind of what we're going to be doing here and understand how this works. If you don't care about that, if you just want to get into the build, the video is divided into time chapters. So just skip ahead either to the paraboard build or the parallel harness build. Let's get into it. So if you're to open this up, essentially what you would find is two LiPo cells. They'd be stacked on top of each other along with a little three pin JST-XH balance plug. Okay. And the way these are wired, uh, you've got your two cells, nominal voltage 3.7 volts hooked in series. That's what gives you your 7.4 volts. And the way these would be wired up, uh, you'd have, because they're in series, you've got your plus, your minus to your plus here. That would be your blue wire. And then you've got your red wire coming out of your positive and your black wire coming out of your negative. And this would essentially be, if we were soldering this up, that's what we would basically do, and that would be your pack. Now on a conventional battery like this with the power lead as well, all that's happening here is they're also hooking up the power lead to the minus and the positive. So the question is, without the main power plug, which is what we've got here now, how do you charge this? It's pretty easy to understand how it's powering the aircraft. It's still getting the, the negative and the positive that's feeding power to your aircraft and the center blue wire isn't even utilized. But for charging it and balancing, how do you do that through the single plug? Well, let's say this is a, uh, this is going to be our balance harness we're going to build. Not quite, it's the wrong style of plug. But if we plug that into there now, and if we take our normal power plug that would normally be here, but we take it off the battery and instead we hook it up here. It's the same thing. Whether it's hooked in down here, it's still in the same circuit as we hook the negative and positive up in this plug here. And that's all we're going to be doing essentially. We're going to be making, to make a harness on one of these things, you've just got your power plug hooked up to your black and negative and you've got your balance going to your balance port. It'll make more sense when we build it. So we'll start by building the easy one that hooks up to a conventional paraboard, if you've already got a paraboard. So the way this is going to work, we're going to take our paraboard's balance plug and plug it into the balance port of the charger, but we're not going to plug in the main power bananas that power up the main plugs on the board. We're not going to use those at all. We're just using the uh, balance ports. 
What we're going to do instead, we're going to plug in a three pin JST balance plug into the board and we are actually going to feed that rail, the, the positive and the negative, on those balance ports uh, through the red and the black going to the power output of the charger. So you could either, you know, we'd, we'd want longer leads probably and, you know, just put on two four millimeter bananas if you wanted to. Plug it in that way. I'm just going to solder this little JST plug on it and then plug the JST into uh, this JST harness and plug it into the charger that way. So I'm just going to solder this up real quick. And the white wire isn't even utilized, so you could remove it if you wanted to. I'm probably just going to put a little piece of uh, heat shrink over it just to insulate it. And we'll come back when we have this soldered up. All right, we've got our little charge harness built here. Just soldered the negative to the negative, positive to positive, insulated the solder connection with uh, some heat shrink, and then also insulated the center white wire with some heat shrink, just in case it accidentally touched an exposed pin or something. Like I said, you could chop that wire right off. And we will plug this into the 2S balance port on the paraboard here. And the paraboard, of course, is plugged into the balance port of the charger through the main balance harness. And we are going to plug the harness we made here into a JST charge harness. And then the four millimeter bananas plugging into our charger's power output. And that's how we hook all that up. And I've got a bunch of little 2S LiPo packs here. They're all roughly 300 milliamp hours. Here's the OMP M1s, 350. Plug him into the balance ports, 2S port. Here's a T-Rex, plug it in as well. Here's another T-Rex pack, we'll plug it in. And I found these two other 300 milliamp hour 2S packs. Just uh, imagine they don't have the little power harness on them. They've just got the balance lead like the other three. Plug him in and plug him in. And I don't know if you noticed, but as soon as we plug those in, it automatically has selected 2S, 7.4 volt nominal. So the charge is reading both cells and all the packs. And the charge rate on these, what, 300 milliamp hours times five packs, 1500 milliamp charge rate, so 1.5 charge rate if we're charging at 1C. So we will dial this up to 1.5 amps and start the charge cycle. And there we go, everything's looking good. LiPo balance charge, we're up to 1.5 amps. There's the voltage climbing. Let's look at the individual cell voltages. Both cell branches are in nice balance proximity, both at 3.94 volts now, and climbing up to their termination voltage of 4.2 volts when they're fully charged. So that is the easy one. Oh, and I should also mention that uh, you know, this is small wire, so you're not going to be passing large current through it. You know, 1.5 amp charge rate for five of these packs, no problem. I wouldn't go any more than probably three amps through this, uh, through these balance wires. Yeah, you could probably go up to five, wouldn't be a problem. But, uh, you know, that, this only works for small little packs like these. And so that's the easy one. Let's get to the more difficult harness. A little more going on now, right? So we're going to build a six battery pair harness so we can charge up to six batteries. You could just make what we're doing here, you could just do it with one if you wanted to. If you just want to charge one battery, if you just want to make a one harness uh, or two, whatever suits your needs. I find I never usually have over six batteries though, so that's what I'm making. That's the standard. Uh, you're going to need six male J 
JST XH three pin connectors. I'll have links to this stuff below in the description. Of course, a lot a lot of us already have this stuff. I save all my balance plugs and everything from old batteries. So a lot of this I've got off of old batteries. I got these off of an old paraboard that I don't use anymore. So I'll look around, see what you've got already at home. Anyway, you're going to need six of those. You're going to need one female JST XH connector for your balance plug in your charger. You're going to need six, uh, well, 18 wires, six of each color. You don't have to have them color separated. Just helps, of course, to identify them. This is just 22 gauge wire. That's what most balance uh, wiring is. And then I've just got some 18 gauge silicone wire here for the power leads and then two uh, banana plugs. So I'm going to start just by soldering up these uh, connectors. And so I know I've got the right polarity. I might just plug, plug it into the uh, female connector. And we've got to get all our little helping hands here. I'm not going to show the whole process here. You can even buy these things with the wire harnesses already on. So that's what I would probably do. Let's turn our charge or turn our soldering station on. And we'll just zap these real quick. Tin them first. And yeah, I should probably probably should have had all these stripped ahead of time, but you'll get the idea. So I'll just strip a little bit off. Tin it. Tag it. And then uh, get our heat shrink, put it over. And then we have to do that for the white, the black. One down, five more to go. So we've got all those little buggers done. Now we just have to tie them all together. So I strip a good half inch, one centimeter off the ends, and then we'll just get them all lined up in the right polarity. So all the reds are on one side, all the blacks are on the other, and all the whites are in the middle. And then we'll just get them all and twist them together, which is easier said than done. Let's just do a few at a time. Let's get three. We'll do these three. And we'll solder these up so they don't come apart. Probably should have a bigger tip in here, but... Ah, this works. Ooh, hot potato. Hot potato. There we go. So we'll do the same with the uh, white now and then the black. There's all our balancing plugs soldered together with the correct polarities. Now what I'm going to have to do is uh, we're going to solder on the female end onto all those males like that. And then we're also going to have our main charge plug wire hooked in there. So I'll just do the red here so you can see what's going on. And again, you don't have to have six. You could have one or two or three, whatever. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to get a big hunk of heat shrink over there first. Make sure to do that. In fact, I should do that for all of these so I don't forget. Okay. I'm going to solder this. And we'll just trim the sharp end off. Okay, and I'll just... Uh, butt joint this up so 
it's still in frame. Let's get the flux out. And we'll do the same for the black one and the white one's just the little guy. So that's essentially what we've got. So we've got our three or our six plugs at the end. And then we've got our one balance plug at the other end. And then these are going to go to our banana or our bananas. But let's get, uh, we'll get these insulated first with the heat shrink. We'll be back when all that's done. Definitely in the home stretch. All we've got left is the banana plugs. Let's just make sure this is the same length. And we'll just strip a little bit off the ends of these for these specific banana plugs, which you have to solder the wires into, very much like a bullet connector. And I'll just tin these real quick. I'll just do the one to show you what's involved. Pin that up. And we'll slide the banana jacket over the red wire there. And we'll put the banana in the helping hands here. Looking right down inside, probably can't see that. I know I can't because I don't have my glasses on. This should be fun, soldering blind. Ooh, I should have turned my station up a bit. We're at 360 Celsius. Could probably go up to about 380 for something like this. There we go. And then we will just melt the tinned wire in the end. Hopefully my big fat paws isn't in the way. Ah, it probably is. Let's go vertical. Ooh, that elevator clip is hot. Come on, you bastard. Okay, down we go. Just don't get any down on the threads. Cool and solidify. Toasty, toasty. Okay, I'll do the black one. We'll come back and we'll hook it up to this charger and see if it works. Not too bad. Uh, probably should have made this pigtail that plugs into the charger a little bit longer, uh, but it'll work. And a little tip if you decide to do these, uh, I find the pins sometimes push out after you solder them because they loosen up in the housing. Uh, may or may not happen, but what I do is I just tag them with a little bit of hot glue after I'm done and that keeps them all together and it keeps them from pushing out of the uh, housings. So to hook this up, we will plug in our bananas and we will plug in our balance plug. So well, there we go, and we'll do the same thing again. Here's our OMP hobby pack. It's already showing 7.4 volts, so that's working. Oh, before you plug anything in, you might want to just double check your polarity on each plug to make sure you didn't get anything backwards. So red to red, blue is going to the white and black to black. So we'll just confirm that when we plug each one in. And here's a T-Rex one. This one we don't have wires on, so we will just assume that everything's right. Black top, and yep, that's good. And I'll plug one of these little guys in the last one. Black is at the top, red's at the bottom. So we got all our polarity correct. And we will set the uh, charge current again. What did I say? Three times five packs, 1500 milliamp hours, 1.5 amp charge rate. And start.
there we go, up to 1.5 amps, voltage is coming up, and let's just take a look at our two balance circuits, our cell circuits, nicely uh, balanced coming up. So if you wanted to build a parallel charge harness for your M1 packs or any packs that have a combination balance and power plug like these, that is how you would go about it. Uh, definitely if you've got a uh, para board, that is the easiest way to do it. But now I've got a separate uh, harness for these things. I've ordered some more of these up. They've been in shipping forever. An M1 heli with one single battery, uh, no go. As good as the helicopter is, I'm dying for more flight time. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you next time. Happy flights.